Hinter Z. I don't think that should be possible. I don't think that should be possible. Hinter Z says, hello, I accidentally armed two Express LRS quads without noticing yesterday. I forgot to unplug one and was ready to fly the other. Both of them armed and were being controlled. One was heavy, so it didn't manage to take off. Okay, so first of all, this totally will work with older protocols like FreeSky RxSR. If you turn on multiple quadcopters that are all bound to the same module, uh, they will all fly and be controlled at the same time. And of course, all of them will crash except for the one you're actually flying. Like, don't think that there's some secret here. But I don't think Express LRS should work that way. I, it doesn't seem like it should be possible. Like they, um, mm, Wesley Vardy says it 100% works. Wesley, I thought the, I thought that they would uh, be like, you know, bind or talk to the first receiver it detected and not the second. Oh my God, everyone's telling me that it works. I'm shocked. I knew that older protocols worked that way. I'm shocked that Express Alerts works that way. Um, but that, I mean, when Wesley Vardy says it works that way, then it must work. Let's try it. Let's try it. Um, all right. We've got our little walk snail avatars here. Or not our walk snail avatars. We've got our little uh, fly wound nano babies here. So, I mean, I believe you if he says it's going to work, but I want to know. Okay. Radio is on. Okay, we got three of these guys. We're gonna plug the first. All of these are bound to my to my controller. Let's put the battery in the other way. All right, we got uh, number one. Okay, where should I put it? Put it right here. Ah, number one. Okay, it's uh, it's connected. We got number two. How does the telemetry work? I guess only the first one has telemetry. Like, I'm really at a loss here. Number two. Let's space them out a little bit. Let's space them out a little bit. This is a... Uh, I'm glad these quads are so small. This is a bad idea. This is a mistake. For you, for the live stream, I will do it. Okay. Um, so they're all on. What does the uh, Express LRS receiver say? We got solid light. Solid light, solid light, uh-oh, solid light. Okay, moment of truth. We're gonna arm, here we go. They all arm. Oh my God, oh my God, nope, see, that's it, it's over. Dare I throttle up? Auto level mode. <laughs> oh, this is a disaster. <laughs> That's not that bad. Let's try it in auto level mode. Here we go. Okay, angle mode. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I guess it works. <laughs> well, I know what my next video is going to be. <laughs> Oh, now, it's a good thing that I am not, I am indoors, because if I were in the national airspace, the FAA would say that what I did was not allowed. It's not, you know, one pilot can't control multiple aircraft uh, without a waiver. So, that's legal. Um, <laughs> um... Okay, I'm sh I'm surprised. Somebody tell me why Express LRS works that way. I really thought that Express LRS wouldn't work that way. 
that it would like link to the very first one and then not the subsequent ones. I know, but Wesley Vardy says it's the bind phrase. I know, but I mean the bind phrase. I I, I know what you're saying. Wesley, you're saying that the bind phrase is translated into like a a, a, a layer two address that is basically there, there's no distinction at that point, aren't you? Hmm. Um, if I turned on model match, it, ah, model match is the answer. Model match is the answer, isn't it? That's the answer. Model match would fix this. How does the telemetry work, Wesley? The, the telemetry's got to not work, right? Why is model match not the answer? Model match is the answer. You're wrong. You're wrong. Model match is the answer. Guarantee. Hang on. It doesn't. Telemetry doesn't work. He says, scroll back the chat. I can't scroll back the chat. I got a lot going on here. So, uh, no, not, not that. Um, let's get... Let's get, um, get on the Wi-Fi, my friend. I guess to get this guy on the Wi-Fi. It's going to take a minute to get on the Wi-Fi. Let's go to the web page. I think model match fixes it. Because model match would mean I could only have, I would need to give each of them a unique model ID. Hello, are we, are we, are we failed over yet? Can we fail over please to Wi-Fi? There we go. We did it. Okay. Now, why haven't you popped up here? There we go. Thank you. Oh, love it. Jumping on my Wi-Fi. I, this is my favorite thing the Express LRS devs have ever done is the ability to manage my, my receiver by, by Wi-Fi. So if I, I believe that if I go to model and enable model match and then assign model ID number one to one quad, two to the next and three to the next, then they cannot possibly all be bound and arm at the same time. Now, unfortunately, I would also need to create three separate models inside open to inside my radio which would be annoying as crap and i would i would bother me but it would work okay um wesley vardy says the transmitter will be getting spammed with three sets of telemetry streams and uh, that'll be bad so if you're going to do this telemetry should be off this sounds like a, a hoot and a holler. What if you had a contest? Who can keep three drones in the air the longest? Right? Yeah. All right. Well, that I that I'm I didn't expect that to work like that, and I am edumacated. So that's uh, that's good. And by the way. That also means that if someone else knows your bind phrase and like they turn their radio on, they ooh. Oh, now hang on, Wes. This is might be what I'm thinking of. What if there are two controllers? What if there are two controllers, Wes, with the same bind phrase? Uh, Rotorite did this a couple of years ago, says Crimson Wolf. I know I was there. I was there. What if there's two controllers with the same bind phrase turned on at the same time? What does the receiver do? What happens then? That can't work, can it? There's no way. Yeah, okay, thank you. That's that's what I was thinking of. I, okay, now it makes sense. So if there's two controllers, the first controller that turns on, the receiver syncs up with that first controller, and the second controller won't have any effect. So... Somebody cannot just turn on a second controller at a race with your bind phrase and knock you out of the air. It, do, it would not work like that. There would have to be a more uh, nuanced attack.
All righty, that's fascinating. So uh, Hunter, the answer to your question is model match. That's how to prevent that. I always like to make sure I actually go back and answer the question. Everyone use the same bind phrase at a race. That would be bad. Don't do that. Use a unique bind phrase. Um, all right, cool. That was fun. That was really fun. Mm, craziness. Um, the bind phrase is not hashed with some unique idea of your transmitter, asks 1IFPV. No, when I, the, the whole point of the bind phrase is that it is cross-transmitter. 1IFPV, do you know how many controllers and modules I have? Like five. <laughs> I am. I review and test ExpressLRS hardware constantly. I have two or three different controllers, at least, with ExpressLRS in them, and three or four or five different modules. All of them have the same bind phrase, and thank God, because it means that when I want to test them, I don't have to rebind all my quadcopters to the new module. I just put the bind phrase on the module and then they're bound. Of course it's uh, of course it's agnostic to the hardware. That's that's a feature, not a bug. Okay. Um yeah. Alrighty. I'm not trying to flex Mike Bergman. I'm just saying, please don't, please don't say anything that would make anyone think that this needed to change because it's wonderful the way it is.